Hello, and welcome to my Far Eastern Soviet Socialist Republic Let's Play. Uh, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to the economy, and we're going to go ahead and use some uh, political power to decrease construction. And with that, the civilian down, military down, get these down. Down to about there, and that should be helping our should help have helped our deficit, I think. We're currently not uh building anything, but that's fine for now. Better industrial expertise, which is good, cool, production efficiency cap, retention and growth. Invest our liquid We wanna pay off our national debt. Let's pay off our national debt. We're going full on austerity, boys. Once once the debt is down, about this interest rate, everything will be fine. I promise. I just want to get rival for this year for the dockyard output and getting the rapidly improvement of poverty rates. So invite Boeing from the foreign corporations who express interest in. Locating some of their assets to the new sector provided for investment by our union, the Boeing company seems to be the most indecisive. This caused considerable difficulties due to our own aviation industry being quite underdeveloped. While the large distance between our urban centers create a visible civilian aviation market and the application of their military development are obvious, the world's largest aerospace contractor sits on the fence relative to cooperate with us. Evidently, the opportunity behind Boeing to stress the proclamation of the transnational approach that we made. As a policy is normally a temporary measure, it deters them from investing, fearing they would lose the funds when the transit to a fully state-controlled socialist model comes in the future. It's coming to some along with various other investors that we are not planning on returning to war communism anytime soon, and that their investment in the future of the Union will pay off. Low manpower. Anything you can do to get more cores? No. Escalate land reform progress. Maybe, we'll see. So we have you. Let's go ahead and get. Let's get military construction. Even though we aren't building anything right now. GDP growth rate, 6.20. Gibraltar Dam officially finished. Cool. Pay off national debt. It's going down very slowly. That's fine. Uh, and by Boeing, and then finally, arrival for the sphere. One key factor that many also economic leaders of the Union have continually brought up since the time of our Far East reunification is the greater international picture we now find ourselves in. The main concern is the imperialist ambition of Japan over the years, culminated in the foundation of the so called Co Prosperity Sphere, a periphery of satellite seats, the aim of the exploitation of the resources and people by Tokyo. Unfortunately, it's dominant power in Asia. The Empire theoretically enjoys a degree of influence and might far above the unions. However, in actuality, the sphere is a crumbling structure built to inspire awe but not to last. Recent developments have shown its diplomatic alienation deprived of developed trading partners, which, in combination with the bureaucratic incompetence, has significantly damaged the sphere's economic potential to the point where we can directly compete with them in the international stage. Putting our efforts toward actively toppling Japan from its seat of economic power in Asia can both benefit from replacing the position ourselves and undermine one of our 
most dangerous regional competitors. After that, the bright future of our union's economy shall all but be assured. Cool, and that bad effect. Actually, let's go ahead and get that first, just so it's moving in the right direction. The political power gain will be useful, of course. And reform with agriculture. Let's go ahead and go. Liberal democracy is getting popular. That's not good. But stability, for support, recruitable population, factory output, doctor. Yeah, but yeah, none of that is good. All right, next thing. Sure, we'll go ahead and get that. Yeah, we're recruiting a whole bunch of these guys so we can piece an army up and ready to go. Escalate Rand reform. All right, there we go. What are you going up now? Seven, a monthly rate of seven. Okay, that's not near as high as we want it to be. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of, oh wait, we can't do this. That's right, okay. Paris of Siberia. Poverty rate will begin to improve. Economic base. Let's get our economic base up. The Paris of Siberia, the city from which we unified the Far East, Irkutsk has a glorious history and one of the most developed even before the old Union's demise. However, what was once as the Paris of Siberia has come, up, come into a state of disarray. Many building up to present standards, its streets optimized for modern traffic movement, its universities and industries archaic and obstructing greater economic plans via for the region. It seems much of it seems like in 1853, the Paris of Siberia will require a series of renovations to become a modern urban center. Well, some comrades are just postponing until we get control of Russia. When we go to the wall, we decide what this renewal will be vital to the process of renewal can itself and authorize it to start sooner rather than later. Let's see, this is just getting our army better, which we'll want to do. Develop the merchant from the revolution. Cooperate with the Far East, work with the Americans. Probably want to work with the Americans. Enough from here to get poverty up. Okay. We can't reform for a while. Okay. Probably want to professionalize the judiciary next. Feels like everything's moving really slow. It's fine. Let's go back to our, oh, sorry, our economy. Okay, 2.37 billion. 2.36. All right. Oh, these are good. Uh, professionalize the judiciary. Wonder, like, what's this? Link socialist parties throughout the world will be approached with an offer to join a proposed international socialist organization. Let's see, security service. Sorry, infrastructure, reducing administrative strain. 
What's administrative strain doing for us right now? How negative is it? Supply consumption, stability, poker power gain. All right, we'll go with secure the rural regions. Next, we must secure the rural regions. The fields are the home of any good revolution. Utilization of our culture is a vital step in the course of the revolution. Also, due to the autarkic nature of our economy, a more reliable agricultural supply would do. Soldier supply needs for urban population. Valiant soldiers, the motherland shell, sweep the rural regions, wipe out trays, and bring order back to our union. We will rip out to our reactionary and liberal thought. And the ruins of the USSR like a farmer pulls a weed from his crop. There's no space for the distant against the vanguard party of the Soviet Union. World awaits, comrades. The new court. Following the consolidation of state authority in the person of Gingrich Yugoda, supported by the status faction surrounding him, numerous reforms to limit corruption and strengthen government organs were announced. Though couched in bureaucratic language and thus obscured from many, perhaps none were a significant proposal to drastically alter the procedure and requirements for entering the Soviet judiciary by the judge lawyer or otherwise. For many years, indeed, as an even current member, the two parties considered critical for both entry and event, but the qualifications often a secondary concern, such as Still naturally eroded public comments and social style of equal justice encouraged corruption besides no longer. As personal insistence of General Secretary Goethe, the entire system is to be professionalized, strict guidelines for required qualification will be developed, systems licensed and examined and overhauled if necessary, the president officials found to be unqualified to move. In this fashion, the limits to be justice ensured in the eyes of both the people and the world. The state must have competent, effective, unbiased socialist judiciary. It sees, of course, what Gingo Goethe says it is. State will value competence. All right, that didn't do much. It will heighten for censorship next. All right, uh, five, six, cool. Oh, wait, you know what? you and then my best motorized is you motorized would probably go like right here like push through there cool We don't need to do anything to increase state influence. Secure the rural region, restore the ASSRs. The greatest thing in the USSR was the establishment of the autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic that allowed the minority of the Union a large degree of freedom in the land dominated by the majorities. Even in practice, must be continued to consider ourselves the exception of the Union. And so the USSR SRs are to be created to allow the ethnic minorities over state autonomy. We hope that in this decision we grow ever closer to change the legacy of the USSR and perhaps even just to be among the Russian states of the minute heir to the Soviet Union for the motherland. See, I don't know if investing in construction will unlock more options down there. But I do know civilian spending, military spending, another 120 days. I wish there's a way to completely cut that off. Scientific research. Sure. 
It's going to hurt our debt even more. Whoa. Is there another one that popped up? Repurpose Soviet infrastructure. Sure. Eating through our political power, but it's fine. Now we're going to go ahead and maintain cultural restrictions. Russia has been infested with many vile creatures over the years since her nation come crumbling to the ground. The strict policies of parts of our government that, that these reactionaries, capitalists, and traders have failed to find their way into the mainstream public life of Irkis. It's <laughs> holding back the spread of these movements, our deals to the Irkis and the KBD, ever watchful over the safety of our citizens and the revolutionary movement in their steadfast vigilance. However, as we spread our movement and reclaim what was once, some have begun to suggest dangers to our deals, such as that we lift these restrictions on cultural and allow other people to freely express themselves. This is simply preposterous. We see again and again the results of Hungary populists, the creation of the reactionary regimes that have enslaved another Russia. We cannot allow secret nation. Said movies will be reviewed before showing. Newspaper articles will be heavily censored, and only art deemed appropriate will be put from public eyes onwards. Change social will go down, we'll gain some more support, and we'll gain some state popularity. Back to the ASSRs. Imperialism is merely capitalism and decay, wrote Lenin, and the imperialistic conflict between nations is nearly as important as the class struggle. To this end, Lenin created the autonomous Soviet socialist republics so that even small national can express the right to self determination within the Russian Federal Soviet Republic. Nevertheless, as their borders expand and the more ethnic minorities are incorporated within the question of whether or not this allows the autonomy of the ASSRs are Sufficient has been increased raised. The conservative faction claims that the autonomy they exhibit currently that has the ability to adopt a constitution within the balance of national constitution are enough. This means that more autonomy, particularly when it comes to economics, must be given to them when the economic exclusion of the minorities by central government. We will accept where there is no exploitation. We'll find the theme power. There is no exploitation. you aesthetic refinings I guess All right then we'll we got you what happens but we are with that, they will revitalize uh, Soviet patriotism. And then, what do we want to do? We don't want to do credit where it's due for a bit. Oh, there's a poverty rate over here. Dang it. And what Soviet patriotism can wait. We are going to go for Unstoppable March of Progress. Rewards for services that serve the security interests of our nation to the fullest deserve compensation for their continued loyalty and good service. The General Secretary himself has approved pay raises as well as bonuses to the demonstrate the values of the motherland best. In addition to members of the civil security and military service, citizens to assist the committee as informed by giving tips to us or by approving their relationship to other factions are entitled to rewards as well as public participation in state security. This is a twofold effect of increasing loyalty as well as strengthening the security apparatus and expanding its reach. Rewards are given as important to ensure that the previous issues with corruption are dodged. And so the subcommittee investigating corruption is to be maintained to ensure the integrity of the NKVD and in turn the security of the true successor to the Union. Socialist realism. It's when you go to announce by radio the expansion of cultural protection measures intending to protect the working class from reactionary influence. Clearly, there's not yet time to allow the propagation of reactionary ideals inside to go to some new continuity due to minimizing the workers' exposure to them in the media. Recently, the Bureau of Socialist Media was announced in a speech for new films, books, other forms of media publications will be screened by NKVD agents before public release to ensure reactionary and bourgeoisie content is kept to a minimum. The government believes could potentially indoctrinate the working class with counter revolutionary changes. But has added that all work requests being sculptures will need to be registered with the Bureau as well. These measures may seem harsh. They see. Oh, dang it. 
basically we're justifying cracking down on art. I love being the villain. This is a lot of fun. All right, let's let's just go all in. Poverty relief. Encourage mechanization. Cool. Rewards for service. Cool. And what do we want to do? Let's get rewards for public servants. As we increase our expectations for our public servants, Goda has determined the necessary to increase salaries for public servants. In addition, those who exemplary work for the respective field are entitled to extra compensation in the form of non monetary rewards, such as vacation time, watches, and even nicer apartments. I want one of this to be the autonomy movement, so named as a pretty public worker, put it on a TV. Consistently shows an ability to organize the inner workers of the union, has dedicated to work as an example of all those who have the honor of offering their time in support of the new Russian civil administration. And so he has been elevated to the head of the movement. His precedent shows all of the public servants who saw that to be integrated is to do great work in the name of the state and reunification. Current deficit, so we are back at a deficit, okay. Fun. Which makes sense with how much money we're spending. You know what, next? I don't think we'll do heightened foreign uh, censorship. I think we'll go with escalate anti-corruption campaigns. Are these guys going to be attacking me? A good life has been a good year for even by working for the Thompson, the Committee of Prices, he knew the legal price of every single item in the Soviet Union, and ever since General Secretary Goda has raised his and every other civil servant salary, he to afford much more of those items. His dinner table, the black meat, and his new car was never out of gas. The car was his proudest purchase, even he sorry, he had to save up to afford it, and then there was waiting list and all the hoops he had to jump through, even to get an American crown party in Siberia. For New Year's, he was proud of a new Ford. The New Year's Eve had decided to show off 12 floors to come back, revived the engine, and did donuts in the front yard, and then his favorite call, colleague to go right down the streets of Vickers. He was frowned upon by the police, but he had earned, his, earned this good himself to prove his salary. It's time he lived well and fast for once. He pitied in it. He also spent a bit of that new salary on flying and poor climate that night. Such is the price of luxury. Alright, we'll do universal policing coverage to ensure the creation of the new song of the the influence of the state must be able to reach every inch of the state equally. We cannot allow the cities to be over placed nor the villages under placed. Limitations have been created to ensure the number of proportions of the population are established. It is that way that we show the people of Russia that we are not like the bands have robbed them and not like the warlords who have divided and impressed them. We the treasures of the Union are here to bring back peace, prosperity, and stability from before the war and must through our actions, show the people our values. Establishing a uniform small law enforcement is the first step towards rising our claim of all of Russia. Just need to fix this poverty rate. If we can fix that, we'll fix so many of our problems. Okay, not all of our problems, but a fair amount of them. Eighty-six percent popularity. You know what? We'll persuade the party faction to get that up a little bit. We're probably gonna lose some. Whoa! What happened? Uh, 
I hope I didn't lose too much progress doing that. Alright, let's see, like, how are you guys doing going up, power tools? A lot of you guys are pretty far away. No longer get military austerity. Okay, civilian spending. GDP, GDP growth, national debt, national debt interest. Alright, universal policing done. Central security services. Well, the incubity is strong. Isolated incidents have been proven they are not in no control as we would like to think. In response to this, we have tried to insulate our power and centralize the activity further, while getting less, ensuring that everyone is directly accountable and putting their allies in position of practical power while enemies sit in prison at best in meaningless offices. At worst, central power and authority are key tenets of good as philosophy. Seeing it is not carried out to his own base of power has made him suspicious as government is not as unified as he thought. He had made it. Realizing activity is the first of many measures to better realize the stream. Maybe if I get lucky, I can purge the party now. We don't have liquid reserves, do we? Yeah, we are broke. Alright, so it's time to spend even more money. Funding. Do I want propaganda? You know what, we'll take it. The stability and the war support we could really use. It's it's better than nothing. I wonder we maybe increase the state influence. We'll, we'll finish this. We'll, we will let this thing finish, and if we can purge them now, we will. Centralize them. 90, yes, we can purge the party faction. And we'll go ahead and go with... Finder and... Credit, we're credit. So you go to an faction where you find themselves right down with the government bridges must... We built between Goda and what remains of the party faction. I believe that a good way to begin to mend relations would be the official acknowledgement of the party's past role in the building of the union. Doing so, we had singling out their antiquated nature, therefore sidelining them, and ending the conflict between these two factions. We believe this is a major step in ending the political instability that has paralyzed our attempts at reuniting the union, brought us with base for which to create a new Russia. By uniting our government, we can start to focus towards the real fight, turn our focus outwards for the glory of the Soviet Union. Sergei Bezmov was late to a session of the Presidium, though one could easily justify it by a good seemingly abrupt calling of it, and not a singling bit of warning given on it. General Secretary Goda now, he was called, a sigh left his mouth for what was a sixth time day. He thought about how things were coming. Traffic was terrible and could be checkpoints were stifling as always. By the time he had made it to Presidium, he had decided something needed to be done. Even if Goda had eyes everywhere, even if he could only go stronger by day, he needed to do something before he needed to rally the others. After he got past the guard at the door, who kept looking at him and shaking his head while walking the path, come on, Bezenov. Why, well, you're so sweet and being faithful, and you're, and you're an admirable example. Cannot let you pass. Or do you blink, and why not? He asked as he, the officer blinked, confused. Comrade, you were promoted to the Bureau of Agriculture Advisory. Another representative has been selected. You barely heard the rest. 
Was that why Yannick Min informed the meeting of promotion he'd been promoted as the others, no doubt, funneled off, moved out of power and shuffled where they could where they could not even touch him. Whether the thought of Sergi moving Gung was not to stop what was non-existent. Sir began to sob, and the guard confusingly looked around, unsure what to do. The general square gave a single passing small smile from the window for starting into the chamber for him, even bothering to look inspect the entrance. The party is over, and there's much work to be be done. Alright, so we basically just ended the party faction, I think. See anything else? Still needs to be 1969. Wonder why we have to wait. Anti tank, sure, why not? I hope this doesn't um, purge them. And I'm glad that at the very least we showed some mercy and didn't just kill everyone in the party faction. So I guess that's something. How strong are you? Military-wise. You've started to get up there. Okay, we need to get stronger. All right, the unmarchable, yeah, we need that. Unstoppable march of progress, and so it begins. The United USSR, now even more powerful and powerful and with more potential than ever, collectively has taken the first steps to what posters, bulletins, and speeches have determined the most important battle in Russian history: its unification against the menace of the Reich. In a Russia shattered by infighting, external pressures, and crippled by war, there is no place that needs strict order based by the. Ooh, we should probably start before we. Possible march of progress. And there's no more good old well, just strong future where no people of Russia will no longer need to fear German bombers, fascist puppets, or friendly bands. In the name of the motherland, our people march united, 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 and then supple march of progress towards the bright horizons where the light at the end of the tunnel lies. So enough of this, hold your head high and seeing out the world. Russia's not yet dated for the motherland for order. Army professionalism is horrible right now. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more soldiers, I think. Huh. Light infantry. Elite, elite, elite. I think every one of them is elite, right? Engineer companies, support anti-tank. There we go, we got some stuff that we'll need to be building later on. With that done, let's do revitalize Soviet patriotism, the battle for unification, the battle land isn't just fought in the field with guns and bombs on the hearts of our citizens while we vanquish the traitors and restore Soviet rule. It is important that our people on our side and fully support our campaign of liberation. We strive toward restoring the patriotism where people once felt for the Union, until the hearts of every man, woman, and child you can find undying love for their country. As we draw closer to the finish line to the day when all the peoples of Russia may rejoice, you'll find no reactionary, no fascism, no capitalist, no traitors that will reunite the great nation with the Soviet Union itself. Workers' Revolution born in 1917 is still strong, forging an immutable advance towards the liberation of our great country. Yeah, so we are down... Guns... Support equipment, whatever that is. Oh, in anti tank. Do 
Do I want to give him just a normal support attack? Yeah, I do. That'll probably be short too. Yep, and we're out of... Out of, uh... Let's see what these guys were out of manpower. Which is not good. But it'll be fine. I believe it will be fine. Improving rapidly, 10% monthly. Anti-corruption, that'll help us get it more. We are already up to 4 billion in debt. Is there a bit over here for how we've changed our construction? I mean, there is for austerity, but is the one for having. Actually, no, that they were to luck. 97. 80% goes to no construction. My Soviet patriotism, military dictatorship forever. Maybe I'm going around this about this wrong. So here's what we'll do. New proletariat patriotism would even come around, said the voice over the crank that we will be deploying from his programming in the time slot. For now on, Comrade Gudo has widely concluded that these prime hours should be filled with inspirational messages over blood my land. To that end, if one of the finest Soviet actors in the studio with us tonight to read war era poems, most dear to a Russian heart, if you would. The young actor has begun to read aloud. His voice came in beautifully over the air of listeners, taverns, pause the conversation to incline their ears. Because we are Russian, just fire and destruction. We're all abandoned behind as we go, and fighting beside us, our comrades are dying, and we Russians die facing their foe. Alosha, till now we have fared by our bullets, but when for the third time my last scenes end, I feel yet, I still yet feel bad for the dearest of countries, the great bitter land I was born to defend. Even these most jaded of listeners felt a fire swing in their hearts that these old worlds brought to life. Some of the younger ones even begin still listening to the Red Army themselves, as the people were not in love with their mother land before, they were passionately now. Cool. Okay, we are building stuff. Okay, maybe we need to stop the austerity. We'll take the ship. We will get political power, which is nice. I think. What we'll want to do. I want to go over here, and let's see if the International Reborn, see if we can get some help from overseas. And we'll get some radar, because that's way behind where it needs to be. I feel much better about our army, even though we're short soldiers and stuff. I feel like we have a better chance of winning now than we did before. Union marches forward. As yet another presidium meeting concluded and the members of the committee dispersed all felt a sense of common routine returned to union. Therefore, for many reasons, if there one asked around, they would have very different opinions from different people. Some would say the resolution of the long head struggle between supporting the official initially brought eternal stability and accommodation. Others said the reunification of the Far East proved the of the presidium's construction and had allowed for troops of the nation to once Nation to once again emerge. Other two reasons then can I that the state was far cry from it only a few years prior. Internal divisions have been removed, lands have been acquired, economic and social activities were increased, foreign relations have been established, and proving them means have been accompanied. The Red Army started a modern professional experience in the force. There'd be many more challenges in relation to the future, and those who thought about such things knew they would be overcome. The people, the government, and the state would all act in unison to return as a Jesus for all of us for the union marches on forever forward. Right, we're going to go ahead and start the home of the revolution. 
but I'm not going to read that yet. I'll try to remember to read it next episode, but unfortunately we are probably way over time. Uh, please leave a subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.